welcome back and today we are going to be looking at creating a 360 degree render so first of all get your scene open and get your camera to wherever you need it okay so we're just going to go into camera view or not there we go everything's on a bit of a go slow today um, right so select your camera because we cannot do this without changing the type so we need to change the type to panoramic we need to change we need to if you're not already on this you need to um, select this one here which is acquire centangular inquire centangular something like that um, leave these as the default okay now with 360 images um, if you click on your render button you can see a bit of an odd sort of situation going on but you can see it starts here and ends here so that's a full-on 360 we've got the ceiling we've got the floor so all this is going to be in like a circular or spherical image okay so I'm just going to come out of here go back into there um, and we need to change the output if you're not already so 360 um, photos or renders are like on a two to one ratio so a lot of I believe a lot of photos are like 6,000 by 3,000 um, but to keep my render time down I've gone with 4,096 by 2,048 so that's 4,096 on the long side and 2,048 on the height okay um, and click on just render your image okay we'll come back in a minute once it's complete right so here we are with our image I know it's a little bit grainy but that is life um, right so if you was to export that now onto your phone um, it wouldn't be seen as a 360 image um, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to uh, do create a new folder and save it as, in my case, sharp 360. Okay, and a JPEG. Okay, so we've saved that. Now what we need to do is come into this software here or this website it's called the exifer exifer um because you're going to be editing some settings in the um in the photo so we just need okay so the web address is www.deif the exifer.net um, I'll put a link in the description below um, so what we're going to do is find our image wherever that may be um, blender uh, the, the new folder and there's our image and we're just going to drag it in down here okay and then we click on exit exif.me and now what we need to do is go to XMP G pano tags and we need to find um, projection type now if we come back into here we need to type that in which is E Q U I R E C T A N G 
U L A R. Okay, and then just click on go X thing and close editor. And then we can just download the file, save as. Okay, and then just I'm going to go to my containing folder and I'm going to transfer that to my phone. I'm just going to bring that if I just bring that in here. I don't know if you can see that. So there's our image, and then just down here we got view 360. I'm just going to Turn that on its side so we've got a full on view. And then, if we just hit view, go to 360 view and stretched, and there you can see we have got a 360 panoramic view that's full on 360 up, down, and left, and right. Because right, this is connected to the phone it's a little bit glitchy um, but you can see it's quite a uh, grainy grainy image but that's only because I didn't um, do a high count in blender um, but yeah that's it that's how you can convert your um, blender render <laughs> um, into a on 360 and obviously if you've got the the software you can actually create a like a virtual tour with hotspot areas um, and move about so no obviously we go up the stairs and that um, but yeah so just to recap just to um, get your blender image don't forget to um, two to one ratio so whatever your shortest or whatever your longest side is you just got to halve it for the shortest side into camera equirectangular image panoramic just leave those 1990 180 180 um, and then if you want to see it in your preview just click on the render image and you can see it there and obviously you can see all these other different images as well but yeah, there you go. I hope you liked the video. Um, if you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Any comments, drop them down below. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Tell for now.